Hello and welcome to the bee yard at Nonsense Farm. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Please stay free till the end so you can see how this works out because I don't even know. If you aren't subscribed, please hit subscribe. Hit the bell so you get a notification whenever I publish a new video. And now, what are we doing in the bee yard today? This hive, when we went through it on Sunday, uh, it appears to be a laying worker. Let me tell you what that means. So, um, you know, there's one queen in the hive and she lays eggs. Well, if a hive goes queenless and they're unable to raise up a queen for whatever reason, and there can be several reasons, then a lot of times a worker bee will take over laying eggs because they're all just trying to survive. Well, the problem with that is that a, a worker has never been fertilized, like she was never mated. So all she can lay are dr drone eggs. And so I'll, I'll show you here in just a second. All, you, all that's in here is drone brood. There's no worker brood. So obviously the hive is doomed. Um, the, the queen, when she goes out, she goes out one time and mates in her entire life. And she mates with a number of drones and all of that sperm goes into a cavity in her body called the spermatheca. And uh, she either lays drones or workers depending on if she chooses to fertilize that egg or not. But anyway, this hive is either got a laying worker or uh, a, a queen that ran out of sperm. If she was poor, poorly fertilized, who knows? So anyway, let me get in and show you what I mean. All right, so the population is, is semi-decent, but let me show you where I know we're in trouble. All right, do you see how all of that brood, for one thing, there's not a lot of it, and then for another thing, it all looks like corn pops. They look like little bubbles coming out of the cells. Well, that is all drone brood. So we have a laying worker situation here. So here is the plan. I have another colony down there called the Silverado Hive that we rescued out of an owl box a few weeks ago and they are growing out of their seven frame AP May that we have them in. So what I'm gonna do is take this box, carry it down to where the AP May is. I'm gonna shake off every single frame so that whatever worker is laying those eggs will be you know, out on the ground. And then I'm going to put all the frames from the AP May into here along with any frames of brood or other resources. So basically I'm going to kick these guys out and substitute those guys. Now the, the bees that are in here, the worker bees that are in here, um, they may find their way into another hive maybe, um, or, or they won't. But anyway, bees live for the good of the hive and this is for the good of the hive as a whole. had the queen on it, so we know we've got the queen. Okay. Now these bees are going to be stirred up for a while, and down there there's going to be bees stirred up for a while, so I'm just going to walk away and we'll let them settle down. And then in about a week or so, we'll check these guys and make sure they've made themselves at home. 